Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can print address labels using Microsoft Word. We're going to be using the kind of sticky labels you can buy from any stationers or online. And if you haven't bought any labels yet, then that's fantastic, because I'll be giving you some tips on which labels you can buy that are going to be friendly with Microsoft Word. And although I'm going to be printing addresses on my labels, what I'm going to show you will work on pretty much anything, like labelling your own jars of jam or your homebrew. I've actually made two videos on this subject. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Word to type anything you want onto a sheet of labels, and I've made another video where you you can use Excel to put together a list of addresses and then use Word to print those addresses onto your labels. So if you want to use an Excel list, then check out that video. The methods I'm going to show you will work if you have a Windows computer or if you have a Mac. I'm going to be demonstrating this on my Windows computer, but you should be able to follow along with most of this if you have a Mac. Don't forget, if you'd like me to answer your questions about technology, you can leave them in the comments below and please hit the subscribe button too. So let's get started. I'll give you one piece of advice before you start that can save you some hassle. Choose the right labels. Labels come in many different sizes, and Word needs to know where to position the text on the page so that it prints out properly on each of your labels. To make this easy, most good label brands put a product code on the packaging. You can select this code when you make your labels in Word, and Word then knows the exact measurements for your labels. So let's take a quick look how to check which labels are available. Open Word, and click on Blank Document. Look on the ribbon menu for mailings. Click on mailings, then click labels. Now click on options, and you should be looking at a box like this. And if you're using a Mac, you don't need to press options. And we want to see the brands, so look for label vendors, and then click the drop down box. This is label products on the Mac. So when you're shopping for labels, make sure you buy one of these brands. I'll show you what I did. I know Avery is a good brand, so I went to Amazon and searched for Avery labels. The first hit was these labels. There are 21 labels on a sheet, which is a perfect size for address labels. There's a product code on the front of the pack, L7160. So we can go back to Word and have a look at the product numbers under Avery. Great, L7160 is in the list, so these labels will do the job. I ordered these labels and it turns out they did a really good job and if you want to buy them I've put an Amazon link in the description below. I kind of missed the huge notice that these are for laser printers and I have an inkjet printer but it didn't seem to make any difference, they work perfectly. So let's see how we can print to these labels. We need to be in the labels box in Word. In case you missed it the first time, that's in mailings, then labels. Click on options. Then find your brand in the list of vendors and look through the long list and click on the product number. Have a quick glance to make sure these dimensions match the measurements for your labels. If for some reason you can't buy labels that are supported by Word, you can still enter the measurements manually. You can click on new label and enter all the details here. But you really don't want to have to do that. I'm going to cancel this and stick with my Avery labels and click OK. Now this box represents my labels. Next I'm going to show you how to print out the same thing onto every label on the sheet. Obviously this might not be what you want to do, so later on in the video I'll show you other ways to type out exactly what you want on each label. This section won't work on a Mac by the way, but the next part of the video will. I'm going to click in this address box and start typing out the address. By the way, all the names and addresses in this video are fake, I just got them from an online generator. Make sure you've got the address exactly right, and then we'll turn these into labels. Now you could print these straight away if you wanted, but I'm going to click New Document. And there are our labels. If you want to change the style of the text, you can do that now. You just need to select all the text, and then make any changes, like you can change the size of the text, and make it bold. But I'm going to leave the text how it was, and then when you're ready to print, you can click File, and then print. And I'll show you the best way to print your labels later in this video. Now I'm just going to show you a couple of ways to type out your labels individually. So I'm going to start again with a blank new document, and I'm going to go back into the labels box. So click mailings, then labels, and it's remembered the Avery labels we're using, that's good. One thing I find handy is if you want to print just one label, you can pick the exact label on the sheet you want to use. It's great if you want to reuse a leftover sheet that still has some blank labels on it. 
you just select single label, then choose the row and column of the label you want to print to. Another thing you can do is to prepare a blank sheet of labels and then type out what you want on each label. To do this, you need to select full page of the same label, but don't type anything in the address box. Click New Document and you have a page that's divided into blank labels. You can click into any label area and start typing into it. I'm going to type a different address into each label. When you've got the labels looking how you want them, you can print them out. So click File and Print. And when you're ready, click Print. Now when I print labels, I like to take all the plain paper out of my printer and then just put in a single sheet of labels, even if you're printing off several sheets. Most printers will tell you to insert another sheet when the first one has printed, so you can feed in another sheet then manually. I know it seems a slow way to do your printing, but labels are expensive and you don't want to risk the printer chewing up your paper or taking up two sheets at once. So hopefully that helped you print off your labels. Please let me know in the comments below how you got on and if you found this video helpful, please give it the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more tutorials from me, click on my face below and hit the red subscribe button. And don't forget to check out the other video I just made on how to print out a list of addresses from Excel onto labels. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.